tactical out here. You got the Durbin family. All right, I got <laughs> this is Clay, and we're at a ranch, and we've got a Hummer. An undisclosed location. This is a 1980s vintage Hummer, United States Army issue. The awesome thing is, is I just picked up an M17. This is a surplus M17 coming in a little closer. All right, it even has a rack number on it. All right, it's nine millimeter. This is the military version of the P320, the SIG P320. All right, it's got a special serialized number on there. You can tell that the this one has a manual safety. All right, and the rack number, all that jazz. It comes with a plate up top that has a rack number on it. This one's been used, it's been issued. All right, these just hit the market. I also have a, an M9. This is an M9A1, it's a Beretta. This is what we had for many, many years. All right, so we're gonna shoot these two pistols and see what we think, right? Yep. Clay, have you ever shot a Beretta? I've shot a Beretta M9. Have you ever shot one of those? Never shot one of these. I don't think, I, I've never shot one of those either. So we're gonna do some shooting on these targets at around eight yards, just to see what we think. All right, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. it's... All right, so Clay, you're gonna shoot the target on the right. Okay. The, the the top one there i'm going to shoot the target on the left we got five rounds we're just going to try to to make those five rounds as accurate as we can get them okay take okay. your time make some good hits all right Going high. see what you think tell you what this m9 a1 after that first trigger pull you've got of course that long double action trigger pull second one and third one fourth one fifth one are all single action they're really nice so i like that that first one though a lot of people have the tendency to really throw it low because they're anticipating that recoil yeah i, I pulled one yeah. okay what do you think about that so far it was smooth action so, so it's smooth though yeah, it's smooth. shot good all right let's go look Okay, that's not bad at all. That's not a bad this deal. Beretta, you know, Berettas just tend to shoot really good for me, even though I don't carry one daily. But that's that's not bad. Stop. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch. All right, so I'm gonna shoot the Sig. He'll shoot the Beretta. All right, I, this one has a longer trigger reset. So as, as the trigger is really nice and the trigger is consistent, so each time I pull the trigger, it's the same. Just like a Glock, just like a Smith & Wesson M&P or any of those striker fire pistols like this is, the trigger is consistent. So that makes, that makes it easier, especially for beginner shooters. So I do like that. Um, there's also a little ledge here. It's the takedown, okay, this little takedown lever. It's a ledge for my thumb, so I kind of like that. Um, my group is not as good. So let's go down and take a look at the group. Well, hold on. Clay, what do you think? I think I like the SIG better. It's you like the SIG got so small far? small hands, so this Beretta is a little, uh, got a fatter, fatter, fatter grip. And, yeah. and that, so. that's important too because the thing about the SIG is these, these frames are modular to where actually you can get a small frame, you can get a medium frame, and an extra large frame. I'm pretty sure that this is... I don't even know what this is. I would say it's probably the medium frame that they put together. On a Beretta, you're stuck. Whatever they give you, that's what they give you. So it's not as modular. Kind of like all the pistols are going that way. Let's go down and take a look at these targets. Oh yeah, I did way better for that other silly bit scene. Okay, all right, so um, my group definitely opened up here. So that, that Beretta really my... shot well. Yours opened, opened up, up too, so. His opened up shooting the Beretta. He had a tighter group with the with the SIG. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna shoot a little bit more. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna we're gonna test him a little bit more. This time I'm shooting the SIG again, the M17. He's gonna be shooting the M9. All right, it's gonna be reload drill. All right, just to see what what we think about reloading the pistol, getting back on target. We're gonna shoot five rounds. We're gonna reload and shoot five more rounds, all on the same target. It's gonna be the third circle down there. All on the same. So 10 rounds on that Ten on, on the on. third one. It's not a speed competition. It's just a reload drill. Okay, and he doesn't... Hey, he's, he's a pockets. rancher. All right? He don't need no reloads. So he's got it ready to rock. Ready to go. Okay, you ready? Make sure that safety is... Uh, 
that. So act like you're coming out of the holster, okay? And you have to engage, okay? Ready? Go. So boom. All right, so we come in here, we're gonna look at the target. Yeah. Um, looks like I'm shooting a little low still with this, uh, just like in this target, I'm still shooting a little low with the SIG. Uh, clay, not bad. Got most of them in the, in, the, in the black. So we'll get back to your favorite pistol right now. What do you normally shoot day to day? An H and K. So, but today what we're doing, he's liking the SIG so far. We're gonna go back and reload this and shoot the, the target on the bottom. So let's do that. I'll tell you what, I feel really lucky that I was able to capture one of those M17s. They're kind of elusive. They're out there on the market. Good luck. Get up with your with your gun dealer. They may be able to get you one in. There's only going to be a, a certain number that they're putting out. And, uh, and when they're gone, they're going to be gone. All right, so... Put that one in. Got this one standing by. Now we're gonna shoot the bottom target. All right, stand by. Good. check them out. Looks like on this one, I was shooting a little high on the Breda, but man, they sure do clump in there good. I like the way that that thing groups. Just like the feel of a, of a steel frame pistol. I still like that feel. Um, looks like your group's not bad either. Not bad. I threw about two or three of them. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll work. All right, let's go back over here. Okay. Well, I will tell you that reloading, I think, the SIG wins when I'm reloading. It, it just functions smooth. It, it goes, it, I reload it just like I would my M&P or my Glocks. It has no problems. Nothing's getting in the way as the Beretta, the M9 here. Of course, as you come over the top and you slingshot that slide, man, it, I, I have a tendency to hit the safety. And if I hit that safety, it'll, it'll put it on safe. And then the net, the, if I go to fire, it won't fire. Now this time it did because I'm aware of that situation, but I think the SIG is easier to reload for me. All right, the safety, engaging and disengaging the safety, I think the Beretta's safety was easier to manipulate. This thing seems pretty stiff. I, I thought this one was a little bit easier. It felt, it felt uh, right there at your thumb, whereas the Beretta, you gotta kind of push it mm -hmm. forward. So, you know, I think the SIG overall is way, way better. And I get that, I get that, because you do have to kind of move your whole hand yeah, to, to hit that safety. Hand. It's just once this or safety, use your off hand. for me, once this safety is engaged, coming coming to take it off of safety is not a problem. Yeah, Engaging That's not a problem. Safety. Engaging the safety, I'm not sure how they train to do it, because I've never used one of these with a safety. Maybe they're having to come, because with this thumb, come in here close. So when, when I come in and this thumb, I don't, I can't push it up. But I might be doing it wrong, so maybe it's just disengage it with, with their non-firing hand, okay? So I'm thinking that's what they do. Now with, and I might have, I might, what, I'm sorry, Clay. Okay, so, so with a Beretta, I can flip it on and off all the time with my thumb, but my hand is manipulated away, or Fingers contorted away yeah, to where around. it's twisted away to where I'm really not. I can't really fire the weapon right here by doing that. Okay, so I like the way I can disengage the safety on the Beretta more than I can disengage the safety on the SIG 
but maybe with some training, I'll be able to disengage it with, with my non-firing hand. So, you know, you guys tell me. You guys tell me how you were trained with one of these. The, the only SIGs that I've shot in the past were the 320s and they didn't have safeties. But of course, for the military, you gotta have a safety on there. That's what they want. So, but hey, I'm, I'm impressed though. The thing shot good. It was smooth. Shot good, great. You know, I like it's, it. it's lighter than the M9. Holds more bullets than the M9 for now. Hey, you can change the frame around too. Yeah, you it's modular, more modular. Change everything out. It's ready to rock. Good deal. All right, well, thumbs up for Jesus. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.